First of all, I mean, this is the right of the initiative of the European Parliament. One of the rare occasions in which it's not the European Commission, but it's us who have to come up with a proposal. We have to come up with a proposal because the Croatians are entering the European Union, as you just said. And obviously the question is what options did we have? I mean, one option would be to ask for additional seats and not change the system, but simply have additional 12 or 11 seats for Croatia. But I think that would be absolutely unacceptable in the current political climate, you know, to change the treaty and ask for additional seats when we have the crisis and when everyone is talking about adding, actually cutting costs. Another solution would be to have a very radical reshuffle of uh, the seats in uh, the European Parliament. Uh, because then we would have a perfect relation between the number of citizens that a given member of the parliament represents. That would be also problematic because, you know, we have to usually such drastic decisions are taken when other institutional questions are being debated. Then we can have a sort of uh, balanced solution in which uh, losses in the council are then, uh, in a sense, made much easier or more, much more palatable to certain member states by different treatment in the European Parliament. So what we were left with, we had to come up with something really pragmatic, something that most of our MEPs can accept. That's why we decided to come up with the solution, look at historical trends, look at different mathematical formula, and with that we came to a conclusion in which certain member states lose one seat each. And the most important thing was the relation between the demography and the representation. In other words, how many citizens a given member represents so that we can have a clear line, nice progression from the smallest to the biggest. And on the basis of that, we've chosen the states who are to lose one seat each. If you wanted to have a really nice relation, I mean a just relation between different member states, we would have to give some states additional seats, such as, for example, France, and certain uh, member states who are much more overrepresented in the European Parliament than others, such as, for example, Hungary, would have to lose three or four seats. But that would be a radical reform. It would have to be uh, done, uh, you know, in conjunction with other institutional reforms. Since we couldn't do it, we propose the, uh, the, 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 the rule that every member state can lose only one seat. And therefore, you know, maybe in the future with the sec second step, when we are dealing with further institutional reforms during a convention, for example in 2015 if there will be a convention, we can discuss those issues. For now, there is a pragmatic solution voted down by the Constitution Committee of the European Parliament and then it has to be accepted by the plenary next week.